This video is an introduction on how to install Pivotal Hawk on top of the Hortonworks data platform 2.2.4 using Ambari 1.7.1. So let's get started. First, we need to log in to our Ambari server. And from there, we can install the Pivotal Hawk plugin. And the plugin is what adds the Hawk service to Ambari and defines how to start and stop it and what parameters it needs to operate. Once the Hawk plugin is installed, you then need to stop and start or restart the Ambari server service so that it will recognize the new service inside of its stack definition. And once the restart is complete, we can then log back into the Ambari web UI And now if we look under Actions, Add Service, we can see that the Hawk service as well as the PXF or Pivotal Extension Framework service are both available. So if we select the Hawk service, hit Next, we now have the ability to assign the masters. Right? So there's a Hawk master server, which is uh, the server you connect to to execute your queries. And there's also a standby master, which is its hot standby. So we select the servers we'd like to run those services, click Next, and now we're able to select the host that we would like to run Hawk segment servers. And these are where the actual data is processed within Hawk, so typically they're going to be co-located with data nodes uh, for optimal performance. So we select those, click Next, and we have the ability to customize services within Hawk. So here we can change parameters like the port the master server runs on, uh, the number of Hawk segments per node, as well as the temporary directory uh, where Hawk will store any temporary data. So we make any changes we need here, click Next, uh, review uh, all our configuration information, and then click Deploy. Right, now the software will go out to each node, push out the software it needs, and then do a, a knit of the database to bring it online. So once that's complete, we can click Next, and we get a summary of what just happened, and complete. Now when the Ambari Web UI comes back up, we'll see that we have a Hawk service with the green check mark, meaning it's online and okay. And we can see that the Hawk Master, the Standby Master, and the data segments are all online as well. If we drill into the Hawk Master, Right, we can see all the services that reside on that same host, as well as the performance metrics such as CPU usage, uh, the memory usage, network usage on that particular host. Our next step will be to go out to the command line and run some SQL against Hawk to make sure that the database is fully operational. So from inside the Embar UI, we can get the Hawk master host name, and then we'll log into that host. And we'll change to the GP admin user, who is the root or master user for the Hawk database. And then source our environment shell script uh, just to get our paths all set correctly. And then log into PSQL. We see the database is online there. We're into the GP admin database. Now we'll select the version of the database to make sure everything's online as expected. That completes your install of Pivotal Hawk on the Hortonworks data platform.